video we're going to raise bicycle awareness one person at a time and remember to follow because it makes you feel good mm. ed saturday march 11th what is happening so i'm ed pettit i am founder of friends of columbia tap and this is the second annual third ward on tap event this year we have a trill edition so we've got the bmx crews out here we have low rider and slab bike crews and the whole point of this event is to highlight the columbia tap trail the history of the trail and the former railroad and also the benefits and the improvements we want to bring to the trail and the surrounding communities like cuny homes which is the oldest and largest public housing complex in houston so when i first moved to houston 12 years ago i rented a room off of craigslist and it just happened to be right off this trail and so i started doing rides and i met a gentleman named dr vion mcreynolds a retired tsu professor where i'm actually doing my phd at texas southern and he leads a wednesday night weekly bike ride called Tour de Hood and we go through the neighborhood through Third Ward and learn about its history and I started doing those rides 12 years ago and I realized that there's been a gap in terms of the investment that the city and the Parks Board and the Parks Department has put in the Bayou Greenways and some other trails and really the Columbia Tap has been an afterthought and if you look at the history of this trail it was actually built by the plantations and their slave labor of Brazoria County pre-Civil War as a railroad to bring that sugar and cotton to Houston and to the port. And then during the Civil War, they melted down the tracks as ammunition for the Confederacy. And after the Civil War, after slavery was ended, they used the train to bring in convict labor, mostly black men who were imprisoned, to work those plantations again in Brazoria County. And so before it was the Columbia Tap Trail, it was the Houston Tap and Brazoria Railway. And if you were to come down this trail, there's no historic markers, there's nothing showing you that history. And we want to make sure people understand the history of the trail so that we can make sure the ancestors of the folks that live in this neighborhood who built this rail and trail uh, on their backs, that it actually benefits these people. We don't want the problems of this trail and the inequities that it has produced to outlive the people. Because right now, the neighborhood's gentrifying, people are getting displaced. We're working with CUNY Homes and the Houston Housing Authority to rebuild uh, this campus so that it's up to date. We're gonna increase the number of units at CUNY Homes and we're going to connect it to the trail. We're actually, right where we're standing, we're going to build a pocket park with a pedestrian bridge and with benches and, and beautify it so that the folks from CUNY Homes can actually use the trail. When we did a survey of the residents here, 80% of them either didn't know about the trail or said they never used it. And that's a shame because you'll see plenty of $2,000 bikes zooming past here you know, what I call the weekend warriors or the folks in their spandex, you know, commuting to the medical center in downtown, but you don't see the people of Third Ward using this trail. And so we want to flip that script and we want to make this a trail and a linear park that serves the surrounding community. How can people find out more? So you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Friends of Columbia Tap or just come out on the trail. We have two kiosks at each end of the trail. At the North Trailhead at Emancipation, we have a kiosk. And at the South Trailhead at McGregor, we have a kiosk. And you can just scan our QR code there. Any other messages you want to give to the cycling community? I want to especially thank uh, Crew Mob. They brought out all the bike crews, the BMX crews. Uh, I see that Slow Soul Cruisers are out here with their uh, low rider and slab bikes. And that's really important because we want to show the kids in this community that there's an alternative to joining a gang. You can join a bike crew, you can do something positive, get some exercise, have some good fellowship. And it sounds like you're doing a lot of good work for the community. Yeah. I want to say thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm Luke, we're Ride Bikes More, and we are out. Come out and ride Ooh. the town.